is a demonstration of the Aero Marine Research V-Boat Design Program version 8.8. .8. I'm Jim Russell and I'm going to show how easy it is to do a performance analysis of lower unit or drive unit design and setup. I'm going to assume that you are familiar with the use of V-Boat Design Program, including the data entry and setup of your design arrangement. These setup procedures are quite simple, but are also demonstrated fully in other videos. So let's get right to the operation by going straight to the design file selection screen. I'm going to select the 19 foot V-hull with center pad design model. This selection already has all of its design specifications entered properly on the five input screens. I will go through the steps to show just how fast and easy the performance analysis using V-Boat design program is. My base hull design setup is a 19 foot V-pad hull powered by a Mercury 225 horsepower Optimax outboard. I have already established with the performance analysis that my top speed or maximum limiting velocity is approximately 81 miles an hour. Now I'm going to get the detailed performance as my boat accelerates through its full velocity range with trim angle adjustments all the way. Here's how easy it is. I just click Calc Perform and the software gives me an automated report that is full of key performance measures and advice that's specific to my hull design and my setup. We'll look more at the report later. Now I click Details and I get the full performance output screens that show how my boat behaves through its entire velocity range. And I can see it all in graphic format too. Here's one of the graphs that we'll be interested in. It's the drag generated by our current lower unit design and setup. I'm going to save this base design results for comparison later. Now let's go back to the beginning and I'll show you how we can test for the boat's performance based on alternate lower unit selection, dimensions, and setups. You can see that our current lower unit selection is a Merck with nose cone design. The software has over 50 lower unit designs built in with all their dimensions. If I quickly click on the help feature for lower unit selections, we can see that there are several drive unit inputs specified that help define our setup. And the program will analyze performance of the lower unit design and setup, calculating the many drag contributors at every increment in our velocity range. Okay, back to our comparison analysis. I'm going to change my lower unit selection to a design that has a smaller bullet diameter. I'm leaving all the other setups the same. Now I can click on the Calc Perform again, and I get the completed performance analysis starting with the Report Wizard. Remember, this is the analysis with our changed lower unit design selection. This version of the report wizard is really outstanding. The wizard has reviewed the detailed performance results for the entire velocity range and has summarized the key performance factors and issues that are important for my hull's design and setup. The first note I see is the wizard's estimated top speed comparison of our two designs tested. It tells me that compared to my base design, the new design is potentially faster by 2.8 miles an hour. The other notes provided by the wizard report are specific to the lower unit drag analysis. This includes hydrodynamic drag from skeg, torpedo, upper leg, and spray drag, depending on the setup dimensions and the lower unit height relative to the water surface. It also tells me that I have specified my lower unit height so that the torpedo diameter is two inches below the V-pad bottom. And the notes give me key information about real drag numbers and recommendations for changes. Now I click on details and I get the full performance output screens that show me how my boat pe behaves through the entire velocity range, including the graphic displays. I'm going to go straight to the graphs where I can see that because our new lower unit design has less drag, our hull's trim angle at top speed is less, and so there's more performance there for us. We can see this reduced trim angle gives us an additional 2.8 miles an hour. Now if we look at the drag analysis for the lower units, you can see that the base design has more drag than the new design. I'm going to save these two designs for even more comparison later. Now let's go back to the beginning and I'll show you how we can test for the boat's performance based on more setup change. My third design test is to see what happens when we raise the engine height. I can easily test this by changing our base design input to a height where the lower unit bullet is one inch above the V-pad bottom. This third change should reduce the amount of lower unit that's in the water and significantly reduce the drag that's generated. Let's click on Calc Perform again and look at the completed performance analysis. Remember, this is the analysis with our changed lower unit height adjustment. The performance analysis is compared to our base design of a lower unit with larger bullet diameter 
and our second design of a slightly smaller bullet diameter. I'm going to go straight to the graphs to view the performance changes of our three design cases. The red line is our current design case where we changed the engine height to one inch above the V-pad bottom. Less lower unit in the water means less drag resulting in lower trim angle. This shows that compared to our base design we're more than five miles an hour faster. Now if we change to look at the drag analysis for the lower unit we can see that our third design has even less drag than our base design or our second design. The difference is significant and was seen in our trim angle graph where we're five miles an hour faster. So I'm just going to go back to the design input screens now. That's how easy it is to look at highly accurate performance results for different lower unit designs or setups. We just looked at performance effects of lower unit diameter and lower unit height. There are many other design dimensions that can also impact performance and other features such as multi-engine spacing that can also alter lower unit drag. There's a lot that we can learn about the performance of any boat design by trying different designs, dimensions, or setups. And we can do it all on the screen with the V-Boat Design Program.